Hello, YouTube. Um, today I'd like to... This is uh, Woodworker Royer, and today I'd like to show you the Hulk Power 6-gallon 1-horsepower uh, air compressor. Um, I just got this. I haven't even uh, turned it on yet because I'm still waiting for a part to come in the mail, um, which is no fault of their own. I just wanted to switch out the, uh, the Quick Connect um, to a, a more... Uh, air flowy um version the uh, milton v style i think um as opposed to the normal one but anyway um so that's that's not this company's problem uh, that's just my own deal but anyway um i wanted to do a review of this because i was looking on youtube before i bought this for reviews and i couldn't find any that were for this particular model um and i only found about three for hulk power at all um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is just, uh, basically an unboxing. Um, this is not, a, you know, obviously a, a real, uh, total review of the thing because I, I don't have that part. I can't really, uh, test. I don't even want to turn it on yet. Um, but I will say that the unit looks uh, decent. It's probably uh, it's rated it's rated actually better than the uh, California Air Tools, which is why I bought it. Um, theirs are rated for about this size and everything, four to six gallons, are rated for about two thousand to twenty five hundred hours of use. This one is rated for five thousand hours of use, um, and it's actually a little bit cheaper. So that may or may not, you know, last that long, but, um, uh, that's why I bought this particular one and, um, it's, it's supposedly quieter too. Anyway, um, I also bought these, uh, clutch, um, you can see that one better, better. Um, these clutch, uh, air compressor stand, uh, anti-vibrator pads. And basically it's, it's a cork and rubber um, sandwich basically and you set the it's it's really for stationary ones but you basically set the the posts or the you know the little feet here on that and then you're supposed to bolt it down loosely so it can the compressor can move but it doesn't walk off of it um obviously this one has wheels so i couldn't really bolt it down um so what i decided to do is just set it on this and i have this tilted here so we can actually see it but um i built these little things so it can't really walk off of it um it can move a little bit but it's not going to just like fall off the shelf at some point um not that i could really expect it to do that anyway but anyway um like i said this is a one horsepower unit um i i'm not going to take this down because i spent five minutes getting it up here and i don't want to mess with it but anyway this is the air filter on the back this deal right here um and and this company hulk comes up came up with this idea of putting this little basically a straw air goes in through this through the air filter and into the the compressor um and that little straw and air filter combination supposedly help a lot with the uh with the air with the noise <clears throat> excuse me um anyway it it seems good um Again, I haven't run it, so I don't know how, how wonderful it is, but um, it's, it's, for my needs, probably anything is better than the, the Campbell Hausfeld, uh, <laughs> or Hausfeld, whatever, a uh, little one-gallon air compressor that you see right there um, that I upgraded from that thing is like deafening so if this thing is any quieter than that it's an upgrade <clears throat> and even if it isn't it's got six times the capacity so it is um so as long as it runs it's an improvement over that one basically um but anyway yeah i just i just wanted to mention that the at least on mine the uh the manual that came with it showed the the air filter going, I think on this, 
like over here, like there would be a hole like this, like right here. Um, but it was very, uh, wrong <laughs> as far. I don't know who wrote that manual, but they did not, they were not looking at this particular version of this, of this model. Um, and they weren't looking at the particular version of their manual either because they mentioned something about a, um, a, uh, a figure 2.7 and there's, there's no point figures. There's, there's figure one, two, three, four, and five, I think. Um, and there's no figure 2.7, um, or position seven, which they mentioned also. But anyway, uh, basically I just had to figure out and it wasn't really that difficult. You just look for a threaded hole. Like this one isn't, this is just a, a, a divot in there really. Um, so I just found the one threaded hole and put it on that. <clears throat> I hope that works because there's no other ones on there. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean, that that's basically my uh, unboxing. The other thing I will show you, sorry for the camera work. Uh, I'm using my cell phone um, just because I'm doing this really quick. But one of the reasons that I decided not to use this is the uh, this is the quick connect that came with it. Um, I believe it is a normal style, although it is actually it is it is a fairly nice one. Um, when you put a normal uh, plug fitting in there, the male part of the fitting in here, this automatically closes. So when you open this up, you don't have to actually open it up and fiddle with it. You just have to you know plug it in open it up and then when you plug another one in you don't have to fiddle with this part at all you just plug the plug into it um but anyway when i got it um i cut the box by the way but obviously um but the way that they had packed it the the compressor was moving around in there and this thing wallered out this hole in the styrofoam and there was styrofoam inside of this so for the two reasons one of which is that i want to replace it anyway um, with the Milton style and with the Milton V style, I should say. And then, um, also that it was full of styrofoam. I didn't really want that in my compressor. Probably not that big of a deal. Um, even if it did get in there and there's not very, a, bi a very big uh, chance of that happening, but I did decide to just take that off and, um, wait for the replacement part that I had already ordered anyway um, to get here and then I can, then I can deal with it. But anyway, that's, that's just one thing I wanted to mention with the packaging is that this is not particularly good styrofoam. Um, and that may be an issue for you on yours if you get it. Um, the other thing is they had it setting like that in the box and the box has a plywood bottom. So in Instead of having, you know, the, the straps go around it, you pick up the whole box, you know, like that, and it just stays on the floor so you can get at it easily. You have to take the lid off and then pull it out. And of course, these go all the way down around the machine so that um, you can't just pull them out and get a handhold. Um, so it was kind of a hassle. I ended up just taking a, a utility knife and slicing the box. Um, and then when I read the manual, they're like, oh, don't, don't cut up the box because you might need to return it. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> make the box better. I won't have to cut it. But anyway, um, that, that's, that's not that big of a deal. Um, I don't, I don't think I would reuse that box to ship it anyway. Um, for that reason as one, because that, that hole there corresponds with that hole there, um, that was made by this thing rattling around in there with a the machine um over shipping so um anyway basically it i i think it'll work well for me um i built this little i built this little uh stand um i've got my my file cabinet toolbox there with all of my kind of mechanical tool or mechanics tools um, and kind of cleaning stuff like I clean old old tools and stuff so I've got that um, 
most of that stuff in there. Um, I've got this oil change tray that I use to clean parts in. I can, I can take the parts out of my uh, evapo rust, put them in here with a little bit of water, making sure this is sealed. Um, and then when I'm done with that water, instead of having to throw it out and um, I, evapo rust isn't bad for the environment, but instead of having to throw it out, having people, you know, wonder in California, wonder what I'm doing and, you know, oh, he's putting stuff in the environment. I'm not. I'm just opening this drain and it's draining in here and then I can dispose of it um, properly, however that is, uh, in bulk. I can just, you know, uh, at five, I, what is this? 16 quart because you wouldn't want to just say four gallons but anyway um so i mean i guess four gallons at a time i can just drain it in there this this area holds plenty of water um to kind of neutralize the the evapo rust so it doesn't it's sticky or anything and you just kind of rinse it off with a tooth you know scrape it off with a toothbrush or whatever um anyway that's just a random bonus content um but yeah i bait i I built this, uh, this stand, um, last night. It was an upgrade to basically the same thing, except I used two by fours instead of just two by twos. Um, and then, so this thing, uh, is basically where it's going to stay. Um, and then I'm going to put another shelf up here somewhere in, in this area. Um, and then maybe another shelf on top. Um, just for other storage stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I think this will work well. The only, the only thing that bothers me about this is, um, some of the stuff is kind of cheap on it. I mean, it was what, $235. I think I got it on sale. It was like, it's two fifty, I think normally. Um, but it just seems a little bit cheap um where these gauges are facing up instead of facing out um i guess that makes sense because it's really supposed to be on the floor um i would have liked to see them on some sort of a you know an l bracket or or you know a, a 90 degree elbow uh pipe so that you could move them around where you need them um but i guess they're fine that way um i'm not really going to use them i've got a, a separate uh FRL filter regulator lubricator that I'm going to put on on the wall back here um, for use with this, which is totally overkill. But um, I like overkill, <laughs> so I'm I'm probably just going to set this to like 130, you know, 20 or 30, whatever it goes up to, um, and then let the regulator on the wall do the actual regulating, and I can just you know turn it and be good, um, and just totally skip their little regulator here. Um, but there's that. And then the other thing that was kind of cheap about it is if you look at that wheel, it's basically straight and take note of the bracket. Now, if we look at this wheel, it's not straight at all. And that bracket is tape is tapered. So that horizontal beam right here goes all the way under the tank it's one piece so it go it's a, it's welded here it comes out and goes out and around and back up and welded and it's welded in the middle um on the flat part too but it wasn't quite long enough so or the tank was bigger or something something happened and they didn't measure this piece right so this flat leg on the bottom here is uh, about half an inch short of what it ought to be. Um, so I, that's not a big deal. I don't, it, it kind of, I mean, it would bother people with OCD. It doesn't really bother me. It kind of bothers me just because I bought something that's new. It's not supposed to be broken already, but um, it, it's, it doesn't affect the, the performance or anything. This thing's going to be in a shop. It's probably going to get beat up anyway, so um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it, it looks it looks like a pretty good deal for what it is. Um, again, I haven't run it yet. Certainly haven't had any you know months or years of use on it to to know um, how good it is. 
but according to the specs, it seems pretty good. Um, also, the the welds look pretty decent. A little bit of burn through there. A little bit over there. I mean, it it's attaching a, a half inch bar as a handle. It's it's not something it needs to be uh, super perfect. Um, this weld looks decent. So if nothing else, at least they used good filler <laughs> in the paint. Um, to uh to cover up those holes but i i don't think they did that i just you know um i i think it's pretty good for what it is um it, it was only 235 or 40 dollars um so if it runs at all it's going to be an upgrade to what i had before um and by the way i don't have an outlet right here however i do have a 10 gauge cord that is way overkill that I just have plugged into the outlet behind the, the freezer here. Um, so it just comes over here and right here. And then I plug this in it if I need it or my table saw if I need it or whatever. Um, you know, I, I really don't have that big of a, a shop here um, or anything. So it, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, I mean, this this will run what I need it to run. I'm just using uh, nailers, staplers, maybe maybe an impact wrench uh, to take a lug nut off or something like that. Um, I don't even own one of those. I'm just thinking, you know, the future, someday, someday maybe doing that. Um, and again, it's just, you know, a lug nut here and there. I'm not a professional. Um, I'm not even a, a hobbyist in that regard. Um, I just do woodworking, so that that would be a a rare use um, to to see me with a with a uh, a uh, impact wrench. Um, but anyway, this that has been my my unboxing. I'm going to call it um, of the Hulk Power one horsepower six gallon um, air compressor. I think it'll work well. Um, I haven't even turned it on yet, but from what I've from what I've read of the specs and everything, I think it'll work well. Um, and I am sorry about the editing, uh, or or the lack of editing on this video, because I'm a student and I really don't have <laughs> the time or the money to afford uh, to to get a lot of uh, video editing software. So I'm just going to upload this the way it is. Um, it's going to be a very organic video, and you'll hear all my mistakes. Um, so feel free to, to say that I didn't edit this well in the comments and I will laugh because I didn't edit this at all. Um, but yeah, that, that's been my review and I hope you guys are, are, uh, are keeping safe during these times of, uh, a, uh, famine and well, not famine, I guess, uh, pestilence. That's the word the pestilence that is upon us of this uh, 19 virus in 2020. Um, anyway, this has been Woodworker Royer. I will try and update this video later uh, with an actual running video and, and showing you some stuff that this can do with, you know, the one air tool that I own right now, a uh, stapler, um, which I'm sure it'll run. But... Yeah, this, this has been my video, and I hope you guys stay safe. Uh, Woodworker Royer out.